Mississippi say Lawrence E. Shine Thornton was violently attacked in his own driveway by four teenagers on October 18th. He died in a hospital two days later. During the robbery, Thornton was pushed or knocked to the ground and suffered a broken hip. The autopsy report says he died of internal bleeding caused by the hip injury. 19-year-old Terrence Morgan is being held without bond. 19-year-old Edward Johnson and 18-year-old Jablonski Murray are being held on a $3 million bond, and 18-year-old Leslie Litt was given a $2.5 million bond. Thornton, who served as a minesweeper for the Navy during the war, was known for his award-winning hot tamales, which he began making in 1984. He was crowned king of the first Delta Hot Tamale Festival in 2012. He was given the nickname Shine in high school when he began singing You Are My Sunshine during an intermission of a performance. All four teenagers have been charged with murder, robbery, and conspiracy to commit robbery. So here we have this story from the Daily Mail out a few days ago that I wanted to bring to your attention. Now this is the only one of many articles that come out on a daily basis, whether it's a false narrative, or a media-injected Freemasonic ritualistic propaganda piece, I can't say for sure, but I know that they're continually pushing this agenda on us each and every day. And most people just, you know, take what they read, see, and hear in the media at face value without questioning anything that they consume. But uh, this article that I have for you today is just so chock full of archetypal imagery you know, I just felt it was so impressive, I couldn't pass it up and I had to share it with you. So let's take a look at some of this um, and notice how many of the Golden Age, Fifth Age rebirthing references you can find, specifically regarding the Queen of Heaven, Isis, and death rebirth of the goddesses uh, that were often worshipped in ancient times. Now, don't worry too much if you don't know a lot about this mythical page, pagan deity uh, story because I'm going to gloss over a lot of it as it pertains to the story. So, now, first of all, you have Lawrence E. Shine Thornton, where we find our first sun reference with Shine in his name. Pretty much all the ancient Egyptian, Assyria, Babylon, Medes, Persians, Greece, Rome, all were part of this world civilization within the old world cons construct, but even um, the Aztec, Incas, Mayas, Tolek, and Sioux of the New World religions all worship the sun as well. However, I don't think um, it's the sun being referenced in this story as much as the way in which it corresponds with spiritual enlightenment. And let me explain. Uh, Isis, for example, just as she's personified in this image, um, this, this image right here with the crown of bullhorns that's centered between a solar disk representing her status in the most illuminated of gods and goddesses. Um, but in the DM article, I think it's really, it's the same macabre or spiritual enlightenment that's being symbolized. We see it's also mentioned in the way um, he received his nickname, Mr. Thornton, received his nickname, uh, by picking out notes to You Are My Sunshine, right? During the intermission of a high school performance. So in other words, you receive this enlightenment once you graduate into the higher realm of understanding. Do you see the similarity um, that's being symbolized there? It's a continuity kind of of this, you know, high school performance where we graduate into higher learning. But, um, Anyway, it's just part of this ritual process that they're, they're giving us in the media. Um, but then again, um, there are some other sun references that we could give a nod to, such as the Proto-Polynesian God, the Great Son of the Sun, Tema Nu Tera, uh, whose legend is he was caught in a snare by Maui who beat him to make him travel more slowly across the sky.
and it's ironic that Mr. Thornton was also beaten and that the name of this god corresponds with him uh, being Hot Tamale King since the name Temanun Tera and Tamale have a similar, you know, phonetic prefix as well as similar relationship to heat. So as you can see in this image, Mr. Thornton's banner reads King Delta Hot Tamale Festival 2012. And we see Mr. Thornton lived in the Mississippi Delta. Just note that Isis reference in the name of Mississippi and the nation's largest river, the Mississippi River, is America's largest merchant river. Um, so similar to the Nile River, the great mouth of the Mississippi River is also known as the Delta, which branches into the Gulf of Mexico. The legend of Isis is she married her brother Osiris and gave birth to Horus, but when Osiris was murdered by Set, she cried and flooded the Nile River every year with her tears. Um, so the Nile River is also associated with the place where Isis gave birth to Horus, and we might infer from this a ritual of gathering and breaking of waters. Um, and just to give uh, just a, a quick nod to the merchants, did you see up in the upper left corner here, we have the Greek Delta symbol uh, with the word merchants on it. So that's interesting, right? Okay, well, just to continue, um, the as it relates to, <clears throat> excuse me, as it relates to Isis's husband, Osiris, the sorrow of his death became so great that she used her magical powers to resurrect Osiris by gathering his body parts that Set had dispersed around the world. We could also note uh, Shine Thornton had a wife and her name was Mary, which is interesting because Isis's iconography is often reflected in the iconography of Mary, the Madonna. And while Isis was Horus's mother, uh, later on in mythology, as it evolved, um, it evolved into this incestuous marriage association between Iris and Horus. Um, and as you can see in this image of Mr. Thornton here, Isis' visual interpretations have evolved liberally over the years, but as is evidenced by the photo, the legend of Isis lives on and on in the shadows of the Daily Mail. Among the many things Isis was worshipped for, she was also worshipped as the Corn Mother. Isis is quite often depicted wearing a crown of corn or holding sheaves of wheat, which is similar to this depiction here of Mr. Thompson, or Thornton, excuse me, his crown of corn husks. So here he's seen as the corn tamale king. Um, now, Inanna is another death and rebirth deity. Let's take a look at her. Inanna is the Sumerian goddess of love and war. Despite her association with mating and fertility of humans and animals, Inanna was not a mother goddess and is rarely associated with childbirth, but she was associated with rain and storms and the planet Venus, which may relate, of course, to Mr. Thornton throwing up the peace sign or the sign of the fifth age or the sign of the golden age, whichever you prefer calling it. Now lastly, I just want to mention the duality symbolism as it's referenced in Mr. Thornton's black and white tuxedo. The article does go as far as to say that his funeral mass was conducted by the Knights of Columbus Honor Guard. So the image looks to be in perfect keeping with the Masonic traditions. Um, the bow tie itself is the shape of an X or an hourglass, both symbolizing death and in the case of the hourglass, once all the sands have poured out of the bottom of the hourglass, it's time to turn it over and start again. 
So this brings some continuity to our theme in this article of death and rebirth, spiritual awakening and stuff like that. Um, the fact that he's holding a water bottle in his left hand also gives us a clue to death and rebirth because um, just like the tears that Isis flooded the Nile each year and gave birth to Horus in the Nile, so too are we about to experience this um, new birthing process with the breaking of waters. Uh, will it happen in, in America and primarily in that Delta region where they're kind of pointing to and doing this ritual? I don't know, um, but it does look indicative of that, doesn't it? So um, I guess we just have to wait and see. And will it be in our lifetime? That I don't know either. But, you know, as more and more of these articles pop up, and they do quite often, um, I suppose that that means we're getting a little closer. I don't know, but um, if you have anything you want to add, please leave your comments in the comment box and, uh, you know, share them with the class because I'm quite eager to know more about this myself. So please do. Until next time, see y'all later. Thanks for listening. Bye.